Welcome to SEO Conspiracy.com. Yeah. Allez. We're almost done with training. Now we're going to talk Google penalty. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Look how I stopped my horse. Here you go. Yes, you can recover from any Google penalty. Guarantee. Uh, of course, I'm in the middle of nowhere and a truck is making some noise. I waited for the truck to be gone to get down to business because, yes, I started SEO officially in 2004, but November 2003, the core update named Florida blacklisted, meaning you're out of the index. You enter the name of your website and it doesn't show up. <laughs> uh, my first... Uh, Proudly build 40 websites were gone. Well, did I deserve it? Sure. <laughs> they were just uh, clones of uh, other websites, uh, mainly directories, and they were um, not a great added value to the web. So, since November 2003, I integrated the Google penalty in my business model. Since then, I can't, there's not one single case for a client or for myself where there were no solutions. It doesn't exist. So let's get down to why it's 100% possible to recover from a uh, so-called Google core update or from a uh, manual or algorithmic penalty. Let's go manual for the easiest case study. You register your website to in the uh, Google Search Console and one day you receive a message saying you've been spam indexing, meaning creating Tons of pages, for example, right now, the, the trend of programmatic SEO is just another way of saying, um, let's create uh, tons of spammy pages to rank on uh, interesting keywords, okay? So, last case study for a client, it was, uh, it was a blacklist, actually. It was a blacklist for uh, spam indexing. So out of the index, even uh, no, dom domain name out. You can't, you, your brand doesn't even exist anymore on Google. Seven days, seven days. What did I say? The, the website was 25 million pages. I told the client, get rid of 90%. 90% of the content must be gone. Well, guess what? They, they removed 90% of the content and the website came back within one week. Same for links. Why am I a big fan of the private links network? We didn't say to Diva. Hey, Diva, say hi to uh, the SEO world. Hey. Um, um, um. If you get flagged for abusing backlinks and um, you don't show good faith, the whole like disavow file myth is <laughs> go ahead, disavow links. Uh, just uh, me, I don't. It uh, doesn't do shit. Uh, however, if you show that you removed the quote-unquote toxic backlinks, 
Google will forgive you. So now, two options. You bought backlinks, you have to contact everybody to remove the links, or you have a private, a proper private links network, not a smelly SEO private or public blog network, PBN, trash, proper, okay? Um, if uh, you, they, there's a video about that on this channel, about uh, how to do a proper uh, PBN, so go check it out. Now, the, the key here is, you say, I'm just the owner of the website. I don't know what is backlink. I had a SEO. He told me uh, he, cleaned, uh, he cleaned up the, the backlinks. Um, check it out. And guess what? Within a week, you will be back like nothing happened before. Actually, when you get out of a Google penalty, there is uh, some kind of boost. It's, it, it's, it's good. It's better than before. And um, <laughs> it's a girl. You can tell, right? <laughs> the way she looked at me was like, I'm eating. Don't, don't disturb me. Let, let's go see <laughs> again. Let's test again. <laughs> Check it out. Diva, entre à la maison. Hein? Non? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Entre à la maison. Qu'est-ce que tu veux faire? Qu'est-ce que tu veux faire? <laughs> Girls. All right. So uh, the the thing is, the, Google is not out there to uh, destroy your website. Google is out there for what? to serve the user, to be useful. So think again, if one, you are guilty of going over the line, being too much, too aggressive. Again, we're talking about manual penalty. Or if you done things that I not um, agreed upon by the so-called Google guidelines, but unknowingly, that's the worst case scenario. If you were purposely aggressive and uh, you know how to, how to fix it, well, you lost a couple of weeks of business and then back to normal. If, but most of the cases that I see uh, of people getting hit by a manual penalty is, yeah, they know, okay? <laughs> There's a reason uh, that they got hit. Okay, I think the construction is uh, starting again. So maybe we should leave this place. We should leave. Let's keep on. Uh, let's get out this way. Hey, Diva, this way. Um, let's tackle on now the algorithmic penalty and then we'll go on to the core updates. So algorithmic penalties, since I started in 2004, I've never seen a single case that was not possible to uh, solve, ever, none. In, in the best case scenarios, you don't do anything and the website comes back by itself. In the worst case scenario, well, it's been documented also on this channel. Check out the the podcast with uh, my friend Christine Sessinger, aka the the cleaner, <laughs> because uh, we go we go through the the worst case scenario case scenarios uh, in in SEO as far as hidden manual penalties plus algorithmic penalties, uh, triple algorithmic penalties plus official uh, manual penalties and hidden, uh, the craziest uh, type of situation you can imagine. Uh, we've done it. And when you want to go deep into technical SEO, yeah, same thing. Christine, 
has tackled the most complicated technical SEO nightmares I, I am ever possible. Okay, it's just like there's no way you can you can find situations. If you, if you do, okay, again, go check out the the, the, the podcast, the podcast, uh, several with, with them, with her, and. Uh, let me know if you if you know what situation that uh, what we go through. So algorithmic penalties are just very frustrating because you don't have a way of communicating with Google like you do on a, on the manual penalty, and the how can I say well. To, to, before, before it, it's not like it was before. Before there were manual filters, panda, penguin, meaning an engineer would press a button and say, "Okay, go, destroy those websites," and uh, they then tweaked the the algorithm, tweaked the filters, and and launch again, refresh, and uh, you pee, you come back or not. Um, a lot of time could go by. He, I remember, he, it was Penguin, was it? Or Panda? I think it was Penguin. 18 months between the refresh. I've, uh, might have been Panda. Uh, I'm getting old. Alzheimer is hitting me. Um, but anyways, doesn't matter. We had to wait 18 months to know if what we did on the website was uh, good enough for uh, Google to um, to like us again. That was a long time ago, decades ago. Today, it's just pure propaganda. Those how it's you helpful car update. Watch the previous video. Okay, it's not like it used to be. Since they fell in love with uh, quote unquote AI or more realistically machine learning and deep learning, no human at Google knows what they're doing. They, it's, it's the way it's supposed to be with AI. You are like, hmm, I think that if I put 000 and 111 in, in my dashboard for training the data set, we're onto something. But they don't know. The only thing is you can judge, you can evaluate the output, the result. But the purpose is not to tell exactly um, AI what, uh, what it should do. <laughs> well, you could. You could or you could not. The two ways to go about it. But without going into details, is at the level, the way, again, you got to look the my previous videos about debunking Google Core updates to understand the, why it's such a lie. Here is how do we get out of it. Well, Googlers tell you, you're doomed. Nobody's coming to help you. You won't recover. And um, you must diversify. So number one, yes, you can recover. I have a test for that. It doesn't matter how and what, how and when you got hit. What matters is, can we send a proper signal to see if this website is dead or not? Because I, I told you previously, a website doesn't really exist for Google. It's just a bunch of URLs linked together. So if the domain is really flagged, Yes, we, we might have to find an a, a alternative solution. But I've never seen a case where I send my perfect signal, aka the topic or mesh, flash the QR code or go to topicormesh.com to know how advances you is done right, get the course, and it explains exactly what you must do on your website, do exactly what I say 
on a separate zone of your website, okay? Subfolder, do exactly what I say, and if that doesn't work, then, yeah, you might be, there might be a problem with the domain, which then contact me directly, and, and, and we'll see. But in every single case I've treated uh, since 2004, we were able to save the so-called website by sending, uh, by proving to Google that we can um, be relevant. The, the most, the, the sneakiest, this, the most sneaky, yeah, the sneakiest, the, the hardest quote unquote penalty is actually not a, an official penalty. It's what I call the, the loss of, uh, the loss of trust is the traffic is going down little by little. You, you, you're losing positions, ranking little by little. You, you've been a great website and today Google is testing you to know if uh, it can still trust you because you've been either kind of lazy or uh, your strategy is uh, kind of old. So you must refresh everything. And again, it doesn't matter the past. Focus on the moment, the present, the right strategy, the topical mesh. Okay, we are going through. This is uh, for billionaires. Okay, this is this is an insane uh, new construction. I'll show you the other side. But the yeah, my horse doesn't like the construction work too much. So, yeah, the, um, the fact of the matter is that if you give Google what it wants, see, check it, check it out. If you know Jean Nouvel, the architect, that's uh, at this thing. And uh, okay, like a closet in there is, uh, is a million bucks. <laughs> Just a closet. Uh, looks good, but see, now we construction construction all right the um, let's make get back to business because this is important when you when you know how to give Google what it wants every single core update solidifies your strategy my topical mesh you might just hear about it now because uh, I speak English but I started talking about it in 2012 in French and it quickly became the, the number one SEO strategy because it works and it's pretty much now a standard in, in France. Uh, it's down to how well will you, will you do it. It's not about uh, should you do it or not. All the pro cyclists uh, live here. Where do I live? Hey, in paradise. Um, but the, the, the this whole thing about a website getting hit by a core update is just uh, a myth. It's not true. What are you getting hit by? It's, well, again, they are tweaking not the core algorithm. Let's stop with that. They are doing machine learning fine tuning and your website doesn't fit the bill anymore. But if you understand what to give Google future, not past or present, it works. Again, get educated about the topic of mesh. It works 100%. Uh, I thought we were going to miss the rain, but I smell rain. <laughs> I think it's coming. Doesn't matter. Hey, water only gets you wet. Google penalty, well, it's more of a problem. But the, the stop thinking in terms of 
core updates. Stop thinking that your website got hit by core update. Just understand that you need to send the proper signal. You need to feed the beast what and how it, it wants. And uh, that's it. It might be more or less difficult uh, considering how stuck you are in SEO version 2010. And But from 100% of the cases where from chaos we were able to uh, create order, it worked. It worked. So now, why can I guarantee that every single website can get out of a Google penalty or be saved from a core update? Well, because I've been doing it for a couple over, over two decades and all the friends and everybody I know who know what they're doing in SEO have the same track record. And if, if again, even if we think the website is lost and it's hit, but some, I would prefer to call it algorithmic filter than core update or, or penalty. In case you say, okay, this website, again, if it's real crap, if it's real spam, different story. But if you don't understand, if you not, you haven't been doing like, if it's not too spammy, <laughs> it will come out by itself without doing anything. Now, sure, you might not have the three, six, nine, twelve months to wait, and we're going to talk about it. But the the truth is that there is an expiration date on those algorithmic filters. Um, yeah, that's the truth. They expire, and the website comes back. It's amazing without doing it. So if, when you get hit by a penalty, you're all excited and you change a lot of things. Again, if you are not spammy, if you're legit, let's go. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Um, if you are not spammy, if you are just uh, doing a uh, bad SEO, then there is a solution. If you can't wait, like the, the biggest concern is really for the websites that produce content. AI stole your content, I feel for you, it stole my content too. Well, steal it back, use AI. And but then, your business is pretty much AdSense or ads, okay? You make money with ads. And one of the issues actually that got you in trouble is you have too much ads on your page, okay? One paragraph of text, an ad, paragraph of text, another ad. Stop it. All I know is, <laughs> I wouldn't say 100% of the websites I analyze, but the majority, the vast majority of websites analyzed that got hit uh, by the helpful, the so-called uh, the, the, the helpful core update. Why do you need like 15 ads per page? Uh, why? <laughs> it won't work anyway. If <laughs> couple, couple is enough. So stop with the same with the the. the do you want to get notifications? Yeah, get rid of it. Well, I'm not going to audit, do a full audit of all the symptoms I see that you should get rid of. What I'm saying is, you have time to wait for the algorithmic penalty, sorry, the algorithmic filter to expire. You have to uh, make money with ads. I can't believe no Google told you that. I can't believe no SEO told you that. 
Google Discover. Okay? Do Google Discover. That's not SEO. It's very different. In my opinion, the algorithm of Google Discover is a lot closer to YouTube and the strategy is a lot more close to momentum trading, media buying, that kind. Anyways, you want to know about Google Discover? Hit me up, one-on-one, -on -one. 10 hours, and you will make money with ads using Google Discover. It's amazing that people are crying out, okay, Google kill me, and Googlers and SEOs tell you, diversify, but create a brand. I come from branding. 10 years prior to starting SEO, I was in branding and in New York City, okay? So when you learn marketing and branding in New York City, you're pretty much... Uh, invincible okay but the the fact and the matter is that yeah sure in the topical mesh course we'll go we go through uh, a little bit of branding and how you must create your difference and analyzing uh, by a persona and, and and all that stuff but everybody is talking about intention about ctr and i'm like hey let's talk about retention so Google Discover, short form content, content, that's different game. But for long form content, retention. And your strategy, you must go deep and wide. Deep with long form content and wide with snack content. But Google Discover is AdSense heaven right now. Do it. You have to do it right. Again, contact me for advanced SEO done right. Get the course, the topic of mesh, to get out of any kind of core update uh, meltdown or penalty. Contact me, stating that you're looking for that. And for the alternative uh, strategy of crushing Google Discover, hit me up too. But it's insane that there's such a gap between the fact that it's 100% mechanical. It's a process. If you know what you're doing, every single evolution of Google is telling me, yes, you're right. You're just doing something right. Um, I would love to to be able to like Matrix, you know, mat Matrix, plug you and say, oh, I know SEO. Well, doing my best to do a little bit of uh, education and entertainment. Um, I'll get back to the office and we'll do some screen shares and all that. But how do you want me to? <laughs> how do you want me to? not be out and uh yes uh it's a little bit raining right now but not too bad so we're gonna go home okay rentre à la maison hey let's go home tu vas allez on rentre on rentre à la maison tu vas allez can't get my, my women to to listen to me um Anyways, the level of bullshit from Google, because they don't know what they're talking about. Why? Unless you talk to a robot called Rungbrain, Bert, Hummingbird, one of these, they'll tell you what's up at Google. The engineers and the search liaison people, nah. Sorry, but they 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 can't know. <laughs> That's the whole point. Um, <laughs> I told the story before. Okay, they fell in love too early with the AI, and, and and it's broken, and it's not possible to fix it. 
good news is users still find what they're looking for on Google. The rest doesn't matter. You and I, they don't give a shit. So let's stop pretending. Then, number two, sure, branding is key. If you create a brand, if you are uh, from an algorithmic point of view and entities powerful enough, wonderful things happen. Number three, search is everywhere. I'm really worried about the fact that SEOs don't take uh, video seriously in they, I don't know. Search is everywhere. And number three, the so-called SEO 2010, doing text to publish on HTML pages. You have to do it. The only difference with before, it's not more complicated, it's just harder. You have to do it right. It works. The topical mesh is not just like a a trend. It's how SEO done right works. Um, period. That's it. So you have to do that so-called SEO 2010 layer perfectly. It needs to be perfect. You can't just, no, no, no. You have to do it good. What did you see? Then, number two, create a brand. Number three, create an experience within an ecosystem. Content marketing, multimedia, multi-canal, blah, blah. Search is everywhere. And you win. It is not complicated. It's work. It's hard. You will go ride a horse uh, once you are a winner. Want to know how to win? TopicCommerce.com. SEO Conspiracy, out.